I showed this filter in a different video and uh, I swept it and I kind of opened it up a part way, but I was afraid to open it up the entire way. So I got bored today and decided to tear it all apart. Um, so if you remember, uh, this had lids on the top and the bottom and the bottom had all kinds of adjustments. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven adjustments and it had uh, three connectors on it. Somebody identified it. Uh, somebody said it was part of the Missile Man program or something like that. Um, pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, there's a, a lid on the top and the bottom that come off. And then uh, there was this thing that was actually in there like that. And I was afraid to take it out and I kind of opened it up and looked inside. But anyway, I've taken that all the way off and this is the cool part. So we'll take a look at that later. Well, this is cool too. Um, so uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me zoom in. I know everybody wants to see the RF porn here, so I'll, uh, I'll zoom in on that. All right. So here's inside the, uh, here's inside the filter. So things come in here and they go through a bunch of uh, capacitors and, uh, inductors. The capacitors are all adjustable and the inductors are all fixed. Uh, and it is, uh, anyway, I'll show you the schematic of it. I traced it out. Um, then there was this little section over here, which was interesting. There's this cut out in the aluminum and these other two connectors. And then, like I said, this PC board that went on top. So uh, let me show a little bit of more of that before we go on. It's very, very pretty. Okay, so the thing that was, the thing that was on top of this were these two PC boards, and these PC boards are uh, metal, and they look like they're almost like nickel plated. Uh, it, 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 they're pretty pretty nice, but solid on this side, solid on this side, then it's got these feed throughs, which is really weird, and this one resistor. Oh, what the heck is going on? So. This is held together with these two screws, and this is an assembly, and it actually comes apart. So there's there's two PC boards, so I thought, oh, it's a, it's a really big capacitor. That's what they've done. They, they've made a really, really big capacitor for some reason. No, that's not it. Um, open it up. So this, this part here does nothing. It's just metal, okay? And it's just shielding. That, that big piece of metal is to shield it from other things. It's got this little cutout here just to relieve these, uh, these studs here. And uh, it's a coupler. It's a, it's a homemade coupler. So there's one trace that goes all around and then there's a parallel trace. And the parallel trace has a little 50, 51 ohm resistor on it for a load on one side. So it's pretty cool. They made their own, uh, they made their own coupler. So the way this thing works is there's an input, there's a filter, and then there's an output, and then the output goes through this coupler, and then you can uh, bring it off and uh, examine it, I guess, maybe to do automatic leveling or something with it um, to take out any loss that the, uh, that the filter may have introduced. But uh, yeah, I thought that was way cool. So let me show you the schematic I came up with. All right. I thought I was going insane. I couldn't find this piece of paper and I had accidentally thrown it away thinking it was a draft, but it was actually my real one. Anyway, it's a bit crinkly because I crunched it up. Anyway, so this is the filter. Uh, let's see here. I'll zoom, zoom in on it. There we go. So it's uh, uh, a bunch of uh, L's and C's and all of the C's are uh, adjustable. So that is the filter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven adjustments. Um, and so those are the seven things we see down here. All right, so that's the filter. Nothing really exciting going on there. Uh, but the other part is this, which is the uh, uh, filter comes in here, goes along that line, comes out, but then uh, it gets uh, coupled into here. So this is the uh, coupled port. Uh, I'm not sure how good of a coupler this is, but uh, yeah, that's the way that uh, that works. So that is uh, that are these two lines here. Anyway, 
when I put it back together, we'll sweep it last one last time and uh, put it to rest. Okay, it's all back together. Uh, that's what that looks like. And uh, we have it hooked up to the uh, to the Nano. And that's what the uh, sweep looks like. So it's a, it's a really nice band pass. Uh, it's uh, it only has a 0.9 dB of insertion loss, which is great. So its 3 dB point is a 200 megahertz to 280 megahertz. So 200 to 280, and it's a pretty steep filter. So it's a 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 or 50 dB down. So yeah, it's a nice filter. Um, let's take a look at the uh, the coupled section. So the part that goes through the coupler, I'm not expecting it to be as good. Yeah, there it is. So it's a bit uh, it's a bit lumpy due to the filter, but uh, really what it has to do is it just has to capture some power here and uh, to, to do the circuit leveling probably. So that's, uh, that's what that looks like. All right. Hope you enjoyed that.